Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. Someone said that the thing that they like about us the most is that there's always a video to watch. And that is true. There's as many videos as there are days. Anyway, good morning. We are 45 minutes away from Farrier. Last night, Sam and I were trying to figure out where the heck are we going to do Farrier. We feel like the best place to do it is in the barn. He wanted to do it over here, and he actually hung the cross ties up over here last night, but there was no room for her to stretch out the horse's foot. He did put fans up. He had this one, and he had another one he put up for her so she wouldn't be hot because this room, because this room does get hot. It's just not gonna work though. So this morning he ran out, put the cross ties here. I'm gonna run and find some mats. We still have a lot of mats. We haven't brought them over yet. I'm gonna put mats here to do the horses here. He has a fan here for her. Hello ladies, hi. Grab honey's halter. You bring honey out to feed her? Is this honey's halter? It's oh, I'm not used to this yet. All right, so just use this one for today, and then... That's her original halter. Spot, Penny, spot. She knows that. She's just, she understands his language very good. Hi, Storm. Hi, Chino. Oh, my goodness. His pen is such a mess. All right, I need you to get the escape behind us. Oh. I forgot she... <laughs> she neck leads? <laughs> anyway... The other thought process is that she could do it in here. And it's actually cooler in here. So I could put like another mat, join these together, and she could do it in here. It is darker in here, but it's also really breezy. Wow, Sam puts off a lot. Does he have it backwards? No. Anyway, Sam hung this up for storm. Chino has a small one over there, and he actually stands in front of it all the time. Do you use your fin, Stormy Boy? I love that he can, it's cold, I can feel it. He can either stand here and get the fan or he can move away from it. Wow, oh, you're not too dirty in this stall. You like a big stall? Yeah. See how calm he looks? I mean, he calmer than normal, I know. He's telling me, I want to go out. <laughs> Favorite place in this barn? Where? Right through here. Yeah, I know. Cause she went out there once because you weren't watching her. And then she tries to drag me over there every time. Aww. It's because it's full of hay. Or I think that's hay or straw. I don't even know what it is. I still need to get all this out. This is actually one of my favorite rooms too. I call it the back room. And I like it because it's covered, but it's outside. So you get lots of air flow because there's doors on either side. And the ground is soft, even though I hate the hay on there. But... It's just like a quiet, safe place to go. It's just, I want chair. I'd like to make it into like a living room because it's so nice to sit there. But obviously we're not going to do that. All right, so I'm going to go and get some mats. I believe in you, Sophie. Before I forget, I just want to say that I've been appreciating all of your suggestions. You guys are making a lot of suggestions that we've been, that we've been doing. Like um, someone today said that they don't use hooks, they use rings like on stall doors and stuff to hook up halters. And Sam and I were just talking last night about how we need hooks on the doors so that we can hang up halter. I would much rather do rings so much safer, especially with the fact that there's no bars on the, on the walls so that they can reach over. Definitely gonna look into that. I'm gonna probably do that today. Thank you guys so much for all of your suggestions. They're really helping to make a difference at our new barn. Hello. <laughs> we're just waiting for the farrier. She's in there getting Chino ready for the farrier. We've been trying to like bring duck and goose out a little bit more. They have like a summer, they have a daytime pen and then they have a nighttime pen. So in the daytime pen they have a pool and they have their food and they have grass, lots of grass and they love it. But I want them to be our guardian duck and our guardian goose. I mean, if that so, thing came right to me flapping its wings, I'd be so Yeah, it comes to me flapping her wings and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute here. But she always comes to me like happy flapping her wings. I'm excited to see if they try and attack the farrier. <laughs> uh, joking. Zoe has a mean bone in her body. I know. Our goose, honestly, is the friendliest goose ever. Oh no, they poo. That, that was, was the problem. Come here, Zoe. She's like, can we go to the swing? Yeah, they want to go out there and eat grass. Anyway, the goose still snuggles Sophie a lot. The duck. The goose will follow me anywhere. Don't poop on this rug, because that would be ugly. Hi, Zoe. Oh, she's like, do you want to go to the swing with me, Sophie? 
I just love her so much. Like, these are so regal. Every time I take Zoe out of her daytime pen, I say, go to the swing, and she runs to the swing. And when I take them out of their nighttime pen, they just stand there and, like, lift their body up towards me so that I'll carry them. So I'll lift them out. Like, they just are so friendly and so sweet. And it's hard to find time for them to come out of their daytime pen because the horses are around or the dogs are around, and none of them mix well. Hey, you're actually wrecking that rug. Stop it. <laughs> Thinks the rug is grass. So what we ended up doing was we just put some old mats. I have better mats that I'm bringing that I'm going to put here. We're going to, Sam's going to fix it so that I can move the cross ties back out of the door because being in that door gets sunny and hot. We had fans, did the horses here, but the most magical thing was that we couldn't figure out how we were going to get the horses in. So basically they could have came through this tiny door, which I don't know if our, we didn't know if our horses would be like cool with coming through this little door. Or we could have just brought them through this fence. So there's a big gate here. We could have like gone in, brought them out. So this is what we did. We brought every horse through this little tiny door and every single one of them nailed it. The only one that like seemed like she isn't, wasn't happy about it was Penny. But I asked her and she always will do things for me. She just came walking right through like a, like a dream. We brought them in here, stood them here, did their feet and then walked them out that side and took them back into the field. Honey loved the fan. Yeah, honey, lo they all love the fan. They all have fans going fans everywhere so the one thing that i really noticed about this property like you never know when you move but the one thing i've noticed about this pop property is that everything is set out really well like even in the kitchen so if i'm standing at the stove and i'm cooking and i need something right where you would reach naturally everything is like everything is in the right spot if that makes sense and it's almost like the same with this barn everything is just like got a natural flow to it like walking in and then walking out like it, it just all works and even the other barn all works all right, so do you guys notice a, a trend here? <laughs> She's starting to wait for us at the gate. This is Mocha. She's all of our favorites. I like her baby a lot too, but I love her. Where are the babies? They got locked inside. The twins. Did they I try and keep that door open? I know. Oh, they did work. get locked in. I literally have bruises everywhere from the gates or from the horns because I accidentally get horned, not on purpose. Hi, baby. I put a big rock in front of that door so it doesn't close and I put wood. Neither one of them work. Here, try this one. Throw it. that one up. Oh, you tied it? Oh, all right. Well, that will work. Oh, Ollie got out. Oh, hey, how did he here. get out? I don't know. All right, so we're at the point where we feel like we should I let the cat outside. Cat. It's only been like a week maybe, but the reason is. I mean, he didn't run away. Yeah, he could have got out already. But the thing is, is that he... Uh, he probably got out from there. Oh, yeah. He yeah, literally hates not, being I wanted, locked. So I we, wanted to let him out anyways. Yeah, I know. So I he hates being locked in. Dirt on you. Hates it. He went through some dirt. Cause he was yeah, so uh, the, his door is closed. So he's telling us I'm not staying in there anymore. Oh, awesome. Aww. She doesn't even run. I know. She's like, pick she, me up. No, she's like, where's my food? Yeah, we give her grain every time we pick her up. Anyway, we're going to let him out now. It's unfortunate because he's such a nice cat and I wish like nothing bad will happen to him. But the lifespan of a cat that goes outside is so low. Hopefully he understands that his food is here and to always come back here. He'll probably still sleep on the steps. I hope. She's honestly so cute. She just chills. She doesn't even try and get down. She's like, do you have grain for me or no? <laughs> and her mom is like, give me the grain now. I took pictures of them yesterday and the little boy Rocky came right up to me. Oh, she's so cute. We're trying to get these goats, goat, goats leash trained because I made an appointment with a vet to get the boy neutered and the girls vaccinated. And I want everybody vaccinated, dewormed, and defleed just in case because that could be an issue with goats. And even though I could do those things by myself, I can't do the vaccinations. But also, I want him weathered. So. I want to like, and they can't, they don't come here because it's too far away. So if we could get them like walking on a leash, it will be so much better for us. And then we can take them for walks too. They, I like to leave this door open for them during the day because they love to come in. Um, but for today, my big project that I've been wanting to get done, that I have to get done because it's going to rain tomorrow, is I want to be able to open up the fence line. Oh, oh sorry. 
What? All the back stairs because of the ghost and he ran in there. Can you leave that door open for him? Yeah, it's open. So do you see how right now they can't get out of this field because they it's like gated or it's got that kind of fence and then it's got this stuff on the gate. They can't get out. But we want them to be able to run two, three fields. Okay, so this gate and these fences right here that you can't, that they can get through, it's okay because they're allowed in that field. And then this field they can go through because there's a fence up at the top by Chino's field that they can't get through. So this is all good. But then when you get to this big field that has the rocks, they can get through that gate. And then they would be out in all of the pastures. So they still couldn't get off the property, but they'd be where I don't want them to go. And then the only other area is way down there, an entire fence line and a gate that I have to fix so they don't go out there. So that is my goal for today. They sure remember the rocks. <laughs> so do you even have treats? They just walked right over and we're, and we're like, oh, remember this playground? It's so fun here. So uh, we want them to be able to have all this space so that they can eat it all down so Sam doesn't have to come and cut it. I think we need more goats though, because honestly. I mean, this is already a lot. This is five goats, but there's a lot of area for them to eat. Oh, she's already eating. See? <laughs> Okay guys, this shelter is cool. I think it opens on both the, hold on, why is it so zoomed in? I think it opens on both these sides, that side and that side. Cause there is, oh, there's a latch there. I think it opens. Let's go in. So Sophie found out that this shelter, uh, uh, opens on both sides. On both sides? Yeah, because there's the space on that top. All right, we can't get in because we need these weeds gone. Let me go in. Hi. That's cool though. Oh my God, when they jump off the rock, they jump so high. All right, we literally can't open it because of the weeds. But it's nice in here. It's nice and shady. It's cooler in here than anywhere else. Does this side open too? So cool. Wow. I mean, that's cool. It's good for cleaning it out too. Love it. Oh, look. There's a pole there. I wonder if you open that up and attach it to that wooden pole. I wonder if it attaches to that for some reason. This is the fence line that I'm talking about that I have to get more of that stuff for. I don't have enough to get it. I don't have enough to do it. I need like probably four rolls. Oops, I probably need like four rolls. Okay, big, but look at all the shade in that pasture over there. The so lots of trees. The look at the pastures. So these are the pastures we aren't using, but our horses will probably go in on, if they eat ours down fast because these are two huge pastures that we aren't oh, using. They're gonna jump on that. Hi, babes. <laughs> Come on, Mocha. I just love playing with them. I'm getting it's so bruises. Funny because when they jump off, they jump as high as they can. I know when they jump off, they like they make such good little horses. So, anyways, I can't leave them out here this morning because I need to go find Sam. Awesome. Sam just went to get hay. I think they came back. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go find awesome. Sam, get some more supplies, and then. Sam awesome loves the rocks the most. Yeah, they love being out here. Speak. I have this bruise here. Do you guys see it? I have this bruise here. Sophie just told me that she has a bunch of bruises and it's because, not because they jab us or they try to jab us. We'll be like holding them and then they'll just move and we get jabbed because we're not mindful of their horns. If any of them have babies, like I said, a million, like I've said before in other videos, they were running with a buck. So if any, hopefully they're not pregnant, but if any of them are pregnant, then the babies will definitely be disbudded. It's too hot. Hi. It's it's not yeah, they're fussy. You're fussy. Yeah. Hi, Blossom. Hi, Blossom. 
Hi, sweet blossom. Oh, come on. This one is always in Sophie's arms. <laughs> She's like, do you have any more food for me? Hi. We told them we were going to the hardware store to pick up more fencing. Poof, they're in the car with us. Every time we leave the house, they want to come. go to my favorite store, but I know that's going to say no. And now we're at the bookstore because Gabby wants to get a book. Holy moly, their, their back to school section is already set. That's cute. You yeah. don't know where the book is? Hold this. So I could argue that a fidget toy is for babies, but I have like a couple in my purse and I play with them all the time. Like squishing things is fun. You would love this. The weirdest thing is that Gabby grew up to get my jeans for reading and she loves books and she loves reading, but she's Sam's personality. So the things that she loves to read are so different from what I like to read. And Sophie grew up to have Sam's love of never reading unless she has to, but she has my taste in, in books, more of my taste in books. It's so weird how genetics works. You think your kids are gonna grow up and, and you're gonna share books and talk about books together, but then it's not ever always, it doesn't always work out that way. We got a Timu package today, and in it was this, among a few other things. Sophie got something really cool that we wanna show you guys. So it's this, and you hang it by your chicken coop. Let me see if I can get it to turn on. Essentially, it works. I get it to work. I've gotten it to work, but basically, solar powered, so you leave it out all day and you put it where your chickens are. These eyes glow, and I actually got it to work. You know, I'm gonna get too scared of that. Yeah, we won't be going out to do chickens at night. It'll be bad. The eyes are supposed to scare predators away. So this and my fluffy butt sign are going up very, very soon. The fluffy butt hut. I love that sign. I love that sign too. But Sam's been gone all day, all afternoon back to the other house. I've been like nesting inside, trying to clean things up a bit. Gabby's watching a movie. Um, Sophie, what have you? What are you doing? Um, reorganizing my room. Like so yeah, it's like, up. it's so hot outside right now, you can't even breathe. Like I feel so bad for the horses. We have fans going in the arena area and they keep coming in there. And, um, but anyways, we've been hiding out inside. I did manage to finish 99% of the goat fence. I need a little tiny bit more fencing. Let's see if we can see them. No, I can't see them. I noticed that they are a bit timid. Oops. I noticed they are a bit timid. And window, they all right, let's do it. Mocha! Come here, goats! Goaties! They come when called. <laughs> Molly's like, I'll come! <laughs> Goaties! Oh, I see one. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. They heard us oh, and they came out. They were in their little shed. You can't see you. Every time I zoom in, it goes on the screen. Mocha! Come here, Mocha! Mocha's my favorite. Anyway, awesome. they're over there. They were in their hut. It's just too hot. Anyway, Sam's been gone all day. He's been gone longer than I expected and I'm a little bit nervous. One thing I noticed in this heat is that it literally saps your energy and I worry about him and his health. We moved the, the duck and the goose too. We like just moved their thing down so that they can be more under the tree and have more shade. Sam bought this flashlight. It's solar powered as well. And then it looks super powered to me. Holy moly. Holy moly. Anyway, he got this from Timu and he uses it at night because Daisy always goes missing when he lets them out before bed. The heat's supposed to break tonight and be better tomorrow. Our goats are doing so good at becoming friendly and we're almost ready to start taking them for a walk. I wanted to kind of lead, I want to train them to walk on a leash, especially before the vet comes to do their vaccinations and stuff, especially our little boy <laughs> because he's going to need to be restrained. Just when I start to panic, I get a mess. I look at my messages 
Just going to cut the grass at the old house and then I'll be home. Don't you know that you're beautiful?